Um, that's very disappointing to be honest. Um, I really thought the Binks would make more of a difference that. We set off and I went a nice gallop over the first couple with James and actually I was more than happy to take the lead but I kept jumping back in front so I wanted to make the most of that. I gave him a squeeze at one of these, put down on me, then he jumped the next one lovely. Um, and then after that we've just he's just been a bit careful from then on to be honest. Um, and then we, we've slowly ended up back wheeling through the race, back pedaling through the race and back pedaling a bit more. Um, personally, I'd probably now wait for a bit of softer ground and just try and slow everything down a little bit because although we've gone a right gallop, James has only just been beaten anyway. You know, James has been beaten two lengths by the winner. Um, so we obviously didn't go way too quick. In fact, we've probably gone the right speed for James' this horse because it made a bad mistake at the last and would have been a different result then for him. Um, the only thing I can say is try and wait for a bit slower ground with him again and just hopefully it'll slow the first mile of the race down. We can get in the rhythm we got into for the first mile of the race today because that was a, that's the best feel he's given me over a fence completely to be honest you know even better than when he won around Sedgefield with me we winged over the first few fences like we're well away here today and he traveled a bit and then I was always wary of although James was staying wide I wanted to try and just keep him with James so I couldn't didn't have a chance to slot in behind and sulk um and James was also around the national so James was also always going to be able to stay going to a certain a certain speed uh, it just was never going to quicken so I wanted to try and stay with James if I could but to be honest on this ground they've then come around me and have swallowed me up within strides um all I can say is wait for a bit slow ground. Hopefully we can travel in the first mile of the race like we did today, but then they won't be able to quicken off it and come round us like they did. Um, that's, that's the route I'd go with them. Would you keep the blinkers on? Yeah, definitely. It, it, you look at his jumping in the first, well, for the whole race really, but especially the first mile, it was such an improvement from Haydock the last day. And this is on quicker ground where it was going to be harder for him to jump, um, at, jump as well as he did today anyway. But he's improved, the jumping improved tons for having them on. Um, so I would definitely keep them from that point of view. And he, he's a laid back enough horse that he's never going to over race anyway, even with the rinks on on slower ground, he's not going to over race. Um, so I would keep them on just to help everyone out in the first mile of the race and hopefully they won't be able to come around you and quicken. What was the ground today? Good to soft on him, to be honest. Like it's, I know he's won on good ground over hurdles at Worcester in the summer, but they've just had a chance to come around us and quicken away and it's not what we want. It's, it's not the bit he enjoys at this stage of his life. Um, yeah. I, I'd be waiting for a bit slower ground and I stick to this trip as well and try that way. I bobbed the moment because hopefully we'll get dropped a couple more. <laughs> With a bit of luck anyway. Great. And we'll be able to, the thing is, we'll, if we get dropped a few more, we'll be able to drop them in grade as well. And then all of a sudden, we're dropping them in grade, we're finding slower ground, and we'll then be the best horse in a bad race rather than, not. he's not the worst horse, but in theory, the worst horse in a good race nearly because we're lower at the handicap rather than the horses at the top of the handicap. They're the best horses in the race, on racing. And hopefully we can be the best horse in a bad race. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you.